So Lemos Andrade did not go how I was expecting, to be no, honest. No, not at all. Bit I mean, of a surprising finish, yeah, wasn't it? Yeah, you, you know what, what was nice about it? So I watched it again this morning. If you think back to the way that Lemos knocked out um, Conejo, Montserrat Conejo, you know where she was moving back, she hit her with the right hand and she fell forward and then she hit her with like a couple of hooks. Yeah. The same the same sequence was almost repeated exactly based on where the cameraman was and where they were in the octagon and everything. But the difference was Andrade didn't get caught with the counter right. She stifled it. And then when the hooks came, she wrapped her up with that uh, head and arm. I mean, that that just doesn't happen. That That's not a submission that, that happens. Generally, in that position, arm triangle position, a part of the pressure is coming from the your weight driving into them which means that they have to be laying down and you have to be on the side pressuring in with your shoulder as well. The fact that Andrade was able to just crank that on standing is crazy, crazy. I, I feel like Lemos should have been able to get out of that, to be honest. I mean, there was a moment where she could have like, like backstroked her arm out of it for any young fighters out there or jiu-jitsu practitioners. If you get caught in this, until the space between their head and yours is closed, you've got a window to back backstroke your arm through it and she would have been back in a 50-50 position. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, mad strength to put that on. Yeah, it was it was weird because um, she got it on so quick. But do you think it helps Andrade being shorter than, than Lemos? Because she can kind of, like, like, it's almost underneath her yeah. rather than, like, around her. Like she's driving up. Yeah, into, yeah. Yeah, for sure. And being up against the fence helps as well. Because yeah. I, I do feel like she was probably pressuring into the fence a bit. Although there was a lot of movement. I mean, they were kind of twisting and moving. It would have made more sense if she'd have got the arm triangle position and then drove her into the fence. Especially, like you said, with her being shorter, her shoulder's naturally slightly lower than, than Lemos's, so she would have been able to get a good good position in there. But, I mean, I, I, I'm disappointed because I still think Lemos is a, is a real threat to the division. And I don't think she got the Andrade that she was expecting. Mm. Like, normally Andrade's wild and she comes crashing forward and she's, you know, she was real cautious. Like she wasn't engaging and you can see Lemos kind of backing up and like trying to tease her to walk onto that cross. She switched the stance a couple of times to throw some kicks. But yeah, I mean, you know, yeah, just wildness that was. I, yeah, I felt bad for, for Lemos because I'm a big fan. I do think she'll, she'll definitely come back and face some, get into that position of facing someone like and Andrade again. Yeah. I mean, it keeps Andrade right up there at the top of the division, doesn't it? I'm going yeah. to look at the rankings, actually. I wonder if they've been updated yet. Yeah, because wasn't she coming into straw, coming back down to straw weight yeah. unranked? So she's going to she's gonna be going straight into the, the rankings after that win, and most likely she's going to be up near the top. So straw weight. So Lemos is at number 10. I mean, they might just move everybody in the division down, you know, yeah. especially because... Like you, you could move her right in there near, near Marina Rodriguez around like three, four. I, I don't think it would be fair to keep McKen Mackenzie Dern above her based on the fact that um, Andrade was former champion. Yeah, she's she not. She's not fought. Um, let's have a look at who else. I mean, we've got Rose um, fighting Esparza as well this week, mm -hmm. uh, next weekend, haven't yeah. we? So that that's going to be a shift in the division. You've got to think that. Um, I mean, I would expect Rose to win that, to be honest. So then that might position um, that might position Andrade up near uh, Esparza. I mean, that might be an option for her. Esparza, Dern. I'd like to see her fight Mackenzie Dern. Yeah, that yeah, that would be interesting. cool. Yeah. Because Mackenzie's a bit, she's she's game to strike, but if it hits the floor. Yeah, we should be able to deal with like the strength of Andrade as well. Yeah. I mean, you you know, you look, you look at, uh, at Andrade's record and... I mean, she's she's below Zhang Wei Li and Rose Namajunas. Like, I don't know who else she would put above her. She's probably going to move him right back into the top of the rankings there, isn't she? I'd like to see if I if Carla Esparza loses to Namajunas. I don't know. I don't know. It'd be an interesting. The her records like really impressive now as well, isn't it? Andrade twenty was it twenty? So she's twenty three and nine. Yeah, twenty three and nine, like and that. and she's lost to Valentina, Rose, Zhang, Joanna. And then her last loss before that was back against Raquel Pennington and Marion Renault, and that was bantamweight, wasn't it? Yeah, yeah. That's before she, she made the move down. And she's still like, she's pretty young in terms of like having another like surge towards the title as well. Yeah, for sure. She's only thirty. Yeah. And, and you th you think the way that she the way that she approached that one, being far more far more patient, um, 
you can see that she's she's still growing as a fighter. Like the, the you know the thing the reason why she lost to you know to the likes of Shevchenko and and um, and Rose and well I mean all, all all of the four that fighters that she's fought in these divisions, it's because she was chasing after them and she wasn't you know she was walking onto stuff. I mean she caught Joanna pretty clean early in that in that mm. first in that fight didn't she? Was it first round she hurt her bad, but then she just kept chasing forward and Joanna wasn't there to get hit. I, I, yeah, she, I mean, she looked she looked lethal. I, I, I wanted to see that fight go a bit longer, though, because I thought Lemos was going to be able to test her. I don't know. We'll see. Yeah. We'll see. Maybe it's the blue hair. Maybe it's the blue <laughs> hair. Yeah. She looked like we've got the, uh, what's his name? Iceman, uh, the Iceman up there. Oh, yeah. Out of X-Men. <laughs> S- similar colour. 